What's up, my YouTube fam? Long time no see or hear from you guys. I know it's been a long, long time, and I do apologize for that. Um, I have had some personal issues going on. I've had a few deaths within the last six months. So, yeah, it's been a long, long, long mental road for me. Um, I have missed you guys so, so much. And today I will just be doing a little basic manicure on myself. Not on both hands, probably just on one to give y'all, you know, an idea of how to do a basic manicure at home. Um, I will be trying to drop a few videos within the next couple of weeks. I know that um, I told you guys we were going to be doing the giveaway and I have not forgot about that. I would like you guys' suggestions when it comes to that, when it comes to how to go about doing it, what you guys would prefer. Um, any suggestions would be helpful, would be grateful. Y'all can drop it down in the comments if you like. But yeah, let's just jump right into this video. I miss you guys so, so much. So, so much. And my birthday was on the second. <laughs> Happy birthday to me, y'all. My sister's birthday is today, April 18th. So y'all know when this video gets dropped, um, I was recording on April 18th, okay? <laughs> but yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you will need is a file. Please do not use an 80 or 100 on your natural nails. Do not do that. Um, a buffer, your nippers, whatever nippers you wanna use, your cuticle pusher, also, if your nails are long, you might want to trim them down however short you want to or whatever. I did mine the other day because I just took off my acrylic nails. So, they're already cut down. I'm going to just file and shape them. And then you'll also need the cuticle away and a bowl of water if you're wanting to do a wet manicure. Unless you're planning on doing like a dry manicure. So, these are all the items that you will need. Uh, I've had this for a while, so I need to wipe the bottle off. And yeah, sorry if you hear the beeping in the background. I know I need to change my battery. Um, it's too high. I have to have somebody come over here and change it for me. So yeah, this is what you will need. And let's start the process. Okay, so the first thing we'll be doing is filing the nails to shape it up. So this is how you properly file your nails. You don't saw back and forth. You go from one side to the middle and then the other side to the middle. So sawing back and forth will cause your nails to break. And we don't suggest doing that. If you're doing that on a client, it will cause their natural nails to break. And this is what I mean by sawing back and forth. You see how I'm moving the file up and down, up and down. That is what I mean by sawing. That will cause your natural nails to break. So we don't want to be doing that on our clients, y'all. You can do it on yourself if you want to, but I highly suggest not doing that on a client. Now, keep in mind, if you are filing the proper way, going from side to middle, side to middle, it will take a long time and that's why most people do just go ahead and hurry up and saw the nails down you know like trying to hurry up and get their client out of there but if you're just basically working on the natural nails alone not doing any extensions not doing any acrylic i suggest not doing that and i know i've said it several different times already but you know i won't y'all to be aware of what it does to the natural nails um it might cause it to split and all that so i just wanted to reiterate that and let you guys know that it is time consuming and it it will take a while now it's your preference if you can do the proper way fast then hey good for you but moving on, 
Uh, I'm just applying some cuticle away onto my nails, my nail beds, the cuticle area. Um, I don't know why I do it on my nail beds. You don't have to, but I did. And then we're just going to let it soak for a little bit. So normally what you would do is you'll fall shape and then put the cuticle away on your hand. And then as you're working on the other hand, your left hand or whatever hand you just got finished with will be soaking. So while you're working on the other hand, your other hand is soaking, if that makes sense. Okay, so now at this point, this is where we will go in and we'll push the cuticles back and get all that dead skin. You see it coming up around the cuticles. We're just going to push all that back and get all that dead skin up. And then we'll go in with the buffer. And this is how I like to do it. I like to push the, the, the cuticles back and then I go in with the buffer after. And then I go in with the, the cuticle nippers. However, some people will push the cuticles back and then go in with the nippers and then buff. I personally feel like me pushing the cuticles back and then going in with the buffer to remove dead skin is a lot easier. And then going in with the nippers because once you buff, it's kind of removing the dead skin already. And then I just get the excess dead skin with the nippers. And you also want to clean underneath the nail. I did not show it in this video, but I did go in there and clean underneath the nails. So yes, make sure you clean it underneath the nails as well.
all right guys so that's basically it for the video um i am at work right now so i needed to come in here and just kind of close out the video so if you hear stuff in the background i do apologize make sure you guys like share comment and subscribe to the video so that you don't miss any videos i will be posting i know i said this in my last videos but like i said life happened but yeah guys i missed you i hope you guys can tell the difference and i will catch you all in the next video